Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we've got Temperance, and we have the, the Two of Wands. Could be dealing with a Sag, or you could be a Sag. Two of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So collective, I feel like either in the recent past or, you know, coming into the near future, time is not linear, so take this where it resonates, but I feel here collective that you guys are coming into an energy of healing. I feel like your angels, your guides are around you, the divine is around you. There's a very strong sense of healing here. Um, with the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles, some of you could have made a decision in love, and it was the right decision. Some of you are coming into an energy where you met someone new. Um, there's equal give and take here. You both put the work into this connection. Very, very strong soul tie energy. Temperance in a love reading, guys, is a divinely guided soul tie. Two of Cups is a strong soul tie energy. But I feel like with the Two of Wands and Temperance, as you can see, this Two of Wands is facing that temper card that temperance card so you guys made that decision to surrender to the divine you made that decision to heal now my loves if you are in an energy where you're still trying to get out of something the divine is advising you to go ahead and let go and make that decision now, for others of you, we're going to clarify to see where this is going. For others of you, you may make a decision to reconcile with somebody, okay? And it seems to be, you know, in the, the recent past, it seemed to be working, okay? Star card, Aquarian energy, um, you know, it seems like wish fulfillment is taking place here. Healing is taking place. So in the recent past, this could have been you making a decision to move towards somebody new or somebody different, and it's working out really well for you. Or in the recent past, this could have been an energy of you con forgiving somebody and and thinking that it was going to work out so let's clarify and see what this is trying to say tell me about temperance ten of wands in the reverse tell me about the two of cups and the knight of wands could be dealing with the leo sagittarius tell me about the two of wands with the six of cups okay tell me about this eight of pentacles and the ace of cups okay listen you're gonna have a choice here you're gonna have a choice between a past person and a new person you're going to have a choice as to whether you want to let something go or not. You do have some, somebody coming in to reconcile. Do you want to let the grudge go or do you want to let the relationship go? It's up to you. But I feel like we do have someone coming in here with that page of cups and that judgment card. This person wants a second chance. This person wants a second chance. Now, okay, so this these are general readings, so I got to be honest, this can go in a couple different ways. I mean, we still have to move on to the rest of the reading, but I got to pick up on what I'm 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 picking I'm picking up on. I got to tell you what I'm feeling here. You know, I feel like there's a section of you that have this past person coming back wanting to apologize, and there's another section of you that have released the past and you are choosing to go towards the new. Okay, so there's a portion of you that, you know, are looking to reconcile with the past, hoping that this person's going to fulfill all their promises. And there's a portion of you that are releasing it and moving towards something new. All right, let's see what we have here coming into the present moment. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we've got the two of swords in the reverse. We've got the devil. We have the Ten of Swords, and we've got the Emperor. Okay, so guys, I'm going to have to read it this way. I'm sorry if it's a little annoying. Normally, I'm able to pick up on one story and one story only. Sometimes two come in, and they come in very strong. So you're going to have to place yourself where it resonates here. For those of you that reconciled in the recent past or you're getting a, 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 an offer for reconciliation, this person's going to come in offering you the sun, the moon, the stars, anything you could ever want. It's going to be a bad decision, guys, okay? Because this person's presenting themselves as an emperor, but it's a disguise. This person is still, I, I mean, I hate to say it this way, but what's going to happen is this emperor energy that you think they are, and this is not common for the devil card uh hello bitch it's still me i'm still here i'm still here isn't it cool how i hid and i and i got went deep inside and you thought i was an emperor that's hilarious nope i'm still here i'm still here 
hey, what's up? You want to have a cup of coffee? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This devil card's like, nope, nope. Psych. 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 I'm still here. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be a bad decision. It's going to be a bad decision collective. Okay. Ten of swords. You are going to end up, you know what I'm saying? You're going to end up with these swords on your back again. I'm noticing this owl specifically. Be wise when making this decision because I feel like your intuition is going to tell you. Oh, and look, we've got a little pumpkin crying on the corner. You know, some of you may be crying on Halloween. You know, some of you may be crying on Halloween, possibly. But collective, it, you know, for those of you that are looking to reconcile, mm -mm, that devil is still there. This person is still very much attached to their demons, their addictions, negative behavior, cheating, abuse, whatever it is that this person put you through before, it's still there, okay? Now... For others of you that, you know, two of swords in the reverse, you've cut this person out completely. You're you're making that decision to cut the devil out of your life. The emperor and the ten of swords, the worst is over. You've put a complete ending to that past situation. For others of you, you're meeting an emperor. For others of you, you're meeting an emperor, okay? You're, or an empress. Um, could be we're, We could be dealing with a Capricorn, Aries, or Taurus. Tell me about this two of swords in the reverse and the seven of wands. The Devil card and the Seven of Swords, the Emperor with the Four of Pentacles, um, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So collective, you know, I feel like either way you're overcoming a challenge here, okay? If you did reconcile with this person, I feel like it's going to be the last time. You're overcoming that challenge. You're seeing the truth for who this person is. You're seeing that they are just straight up toxic, okay? Um, they're toxic. With that Emperor energy and that Four of Pentacles, this person could be very controlling and they just said or did whatever they had to say or do to hold on to you, okay? With the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords, this is going to be an energy of this person. It's my way or the highway. It's only about what makes me happy and what I want to do and that's it. So I do see an energy if you're reconciling with somebody if you've already said Gina this person is a thing of the past girl I am not even paying attention to that motherfucker no more you know we're done okay you're right you are done okay you're focusing on your own wish fulfillment and you are finding an emperor or an empress here that you never want to let go of or this person is never going to let go of you okay so you know it's it's and I feel like, I, to be honest with you, I feel like both of these stories are going to resonate with you guys because it's all about where you're placing it. Do you understand? It's all about where you're placing it. Collective. If you're going to give this person one more chance, it's going to end. And then I feel like after that ending, the second story, the second saga, the saga continues to you ending that, putting this person in the past and meeting an emperor. So for those of you who are going through the reconciliation, you need to take one last ride on that roller coaster coaster just know that after this happens and you learn your lesson you have this emperor and empress energy coming in so i feel like at the end of the day this is going to resonate with all of you it just depends on where you know i feel like some of you are just in different places in life right now okay are you feeling me are you are you picking up what i'm laying down okay Tell me about the collective in the near future. We've got the nine of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo energy. Tell me about the collective in the near future. We have the two of pentacles in the reverse. Ten of cups under the deck. I'm going to take that. And we've got the hanged man in the reverse. <sighs> collective, I do not feel like you guys are going to be single for long. I don't. I feel like if you guys are having any doubt whatsoever on what you should do here, you're making the decision. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you're not going to be single for long. Guys, if you were planning on being single, working on yourself, working on your business, all this other stuff, I don't see that being a thing for you. I don't see that being the thing for you because with the Ten of Cups and the Hanged Man in the reverse, there's going to be no time for hanging around. It's going to be like almost immediate. You're just going to know that this is your person. They are going to know because we've got pre Empress energy and we've got um, and we've got the Emperor here. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Wands. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like collective. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like some of you guys were looking forward to some alone time. No, that's not going to happen. 
<laughs> That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Tell me about the two of pentacles in the reverse with the queen of pentacles. Yeah, uh, you're going to find yourself in a very committed uh, type energy very quickly after you get out of this. Ten of cups. I'm surprised we haven't seen the knight of swords. Uh, six of swords in the reverse. I feel like many of you uh, thought that you would end up reconciling with this past person, but I don't feel like that's the case. The Magician, the High Priestess, and the Page of Swords, you guys are about to come to the realization that your manifestations are coming to fruition. Tell me about the Six of Swords in the reverse with the Star card. Yeah, I, I feel like many of you were just planning on staying single for a little while, and I'm going to be honest with you. I know you guys aren't going to want to hear this but i don't care <laughs> okay i don't care i'm gonna tell you anyway um i feel like you're coming out of this really bad relationship with a teensy weensy bit of a codependent energy okay you're still wanting this person to come back in and kiss that boo-boo and keep their promises okay uh that's not what's gonna happen for you okay you know the divine said Okay, if I'm not mistaken, you asked me for somebody loyal. You asked me for somebody stable. You asked me for somebody committed and that wants a future with you and that will was willing to love you long time. And now here it is. It's not in the packaging that you wanted. It's not going to be with the person that you wanted. But this is what you asked for. And now you're going to take it. It's like it's like a child that asks for chicken nuggets for dinner. And now, you know, mom is serving chicken nuggets. And they're like, but I wanted macaroni and cheese. And you're going to be like, I don't care because now you're eating nuggets. That's what you asked for. Okay. And that's what the divine is telling. You're going to take this committed person and you're going to love it. Period. <laughs> I'm not dealing with any more of your shit. You asked for an emperor and an empress dagnamit and you got it. Now you're going to deal with it and you're going to take it. And that's it. And you're going to go live happily ever after and you're going to shut your mouth and you're just going to take this this happiness that i'm giving you and you're going to stop it you're going to stop your shit and that's what the divine is telling you collective you know i feel like the divine is putting you in your place here because with the star card and the six of swords you know again i know you're not going to want to hear it and i don't care okay there's a part of you antsy weensy weensy little part of you that when you let this person go this toxic ass you know, fuckery afoot person here, okay? There's a part of you that's going to, you know, kind of want to stay single for a little bit because you got this teensy-weensy little bit of hope that they're going to come back and get their shit together. Not going to happen. Yeah, not going to happen. There's a part of you that's going to want this person to not want third party energies or to say, you know what, babe, I want you and only you. I don't care about that person over there and I don't care about that other person over there. I want you. I want to marry you. That is kind of like the words that you've been yearning to hear from this past person, from this Knight of Wands energy that we're seeing right here. Okay, uh, and I think the divine is like, listen, you need to let that shit go. And uh, seriously, you need to let it go. Okay, so collective, um, that's this is what's happening here. I feel like because you didn't want to make a choice, the divine is making it for you. They're just scooting your little booty along. Okay, okay, collective, come on now, come on. <laughs> you know, it's like you're you're a child in a store wanting that toy, and and your parents like, come on, no, 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 that's not for you. We got you know, it's you know, it's it's funny, you know how. At the end of the day, no matter how grown we think we are or how much we think we know, you know, we're just infants to God, to the divine, to whatever it else. You know, our spirit guides are just like, Jesus, why is this person doing? You know how we look at our teenagers and we're like, oh my God, what are they doing? That's how the divine looks at us. You ever see those memes with the guardian angel and they're like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how your guides are looking at you at this point. I mean, I love you, but I got to keep it real. Tell me about the collective unrequited love guys unrequited love you see this person as worth waiting for that in divine timing everything will work out in your life it's not unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay um i feel like you know collective this person has a sex addiction even if you please them in bed it'll never be enough even if you give all the love in the world this person's like uh what's what is it like a black hole or like a you know garbage disposal you can you can give and give and give and it'll never be enough to this person 
this Knight of Wands energy, okay? You may have children with this person, um, but I feel like with new love and children, you got something new blossoming here. I'm sorry. Give it a chance, collective. Free yourself, collective. Release that Knight of Wands energy that doesn't give a shit about you, collective, okay? You've got someone here that only has eyes for you collective, okay? They only have eyes for you. Um, this is someone that's emotionally available. They find you very attractive, okay? They find you very attractive. So collective, get it together, okay? Get it together because the divine is not going to leave you any choice in, anymore. The divine is telling you you're going to go be happy, and I don't want to hear any more shit. Like, <laughs> the divine is like, put that toy away because you're going to get hurt. Put it away. <laughs> you know, put that Knight of Wands away because you're going to get your ass hurt. Go play with something that's safer and stop it, okay? So, collective, yeah, some of you are, you know, but it's going to be good for you because I feel like you're going to be happy. We've got Empress Energy and Emperor Energy. This could be you moving towards your twin flame, all right? Um, let's go ahead and do all 12 signs for the collective. Lord, um, what deck do I want to use? All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about the collective dealing with all 12 signs. The collective dealing with all 12 signs in love, Aries to Pisces, please. Collective dealing with all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aries, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So if you're dealing with an Aries, this person is either very sorry, very regretful, very remorseful, and they're willing to come in and offer marriage or high levels of commitment, okay? Or you may feel guilty that you're leaving an Aries behind because you have found something better and more committed. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles, oh, this Taurus is never letting you go. This person loves you. They see you as a teammate, someone that they can build a life with. If you're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Sun card here, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Pay attention to this person's actions. They're telling you the truth through actions on who they really are. Okay, whether that's good or bad, look at their actions, not their words. If we're dealing with a cancer, we've got the hanged man, we've got the death card, and we've got the two of cups. If you're dealing with a cancer, there is a connection here that is stalling out so that some type of change could take place. Either you're meeting a cancer and meeting a soulmate or your connection is ending for some type of transformation to take place so you can come back together stronger. You take it as it resonates. You could have ended something that wasn't working and you're meeting a cancer, which is your true soulmate, or your connection is ending for you guys to reconcile and come back together stronger. If we're dealing with a Leo, two of pentacles, the lover's card, and the judgment card. Guys, this person's dealing with two different people. They need to make a decision, okay? They, they still haven't chosen. If we're dealing with a Virgo, King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords, this person's in love with you to the point that they cannot stop thinking about you. You torment this. You're living rent-free in this person's head, but with the King of Swords energy, they're not going to show you and they're not going to tell you. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Fool card, we've got the Moon card, and we've got the Eight of Cups. You are dealing with somebody that has no interest in commitment whatsoever okay like none when you turn your back this person walks around like they belong to nobody okay eventually you're gonna get tired of this and you're gonna walk away if you're dealing with a scorpio we've got the justice card we've got the six of swords and the eight of pentacles um if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I do feel that things are going to even out and balance out between you and the Scorpio. If there was turbulent waters, if things were not going well between you and this person, I do see things getting better and working themselves out. If we're dealing with a Sag, Seven of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Cups, when they're ignoring you, they're talking to everybody else, okay? If this person is not giving you attention, they're giving it to other people. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, Three of Cups, the Emperor, and the Six of Wands, um, you will either be announcing that you're having a baby, somebody's a daddy or a mommy, you will be announcing that you're getting married, you will be uh, reconciling. You know, someone's going to be uh, successful with reconciling. It could be any one of those three things. Either way, it's very positive. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the World card, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Wands, you may be getting an apology or some communication from an Aquarius. Don't take it. 
don't take it. Um, if this is someone that lives at a distance from you, don't take it. I, I don't know why. They're just saying, don't take the offer. Don't accept the, I mean, accept the apology, but don't let it go any further than there. This is a cycle that is over, or you've learned your lesson already with situations like this. Just leave it with a smile and a thank you and walk away. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Magician, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. This could be a past person that's coming back to your life, this Pisces. Um... I see it ending well, okay? I see I see an, uh, an X popping up. I got to take one more on this. Four Swords, yeah, there's healing here. I think that things are coming back together, okay? This could be a past life soul tie. All right, I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Take care.